most of us know or have seen someone have a life-threatening event happen to someone or either in real life or on television. Those people have lost lots of blood, which is one of the most important tissues in humans. Without blood, waste can't be disposed, hormones and other signals can't be transported, and most of all, oxygen and nutrients can't be supplied to the body. Giving blood is a simple, harmless, and benefiting process, and people should donate blood to those people in need. After researching about giving blood, being a nurse interest major, and donating blood myself, I believe I've gained enough information and knowledge to inform me about the opportunity. I will discuss reasons why people do not donate blood, why people are in need of blood from people, and why donating blood benefits. Starting off with the problem, the reasons people do not want to donate blood. The problem is that people do not like to give blood for a variety of reasons, which makes it hard for people in need to obtain. According to the University of Maryland Medical Center's website, the first and obvious reason people do not like needles. Donors would tell you, like me, that you, that you feel only a slight initial pinch, and seven to ten minutes later, you are finished and headed for the door. If you take the time and courage to make one donation, you'll wonder why you ever hesitated. Another common excuse is people saying they are too busy. The entire process takes about an hour, and the actual blood donation time is only seven to ten minutes. If you stop to think that an hour of your time could mean a lifetime for a premature baby, someone with cancer, undergoing chemotherapy, or someone, who's been, or someone who's had an accident, you might decide that you might you can make the time to give the gift of life, also saved by the medical center. <clears throat> to the people that do donate blood, they can, not, they can not give more, which is partially true, but a person has up to 56 days to give blood again. The webpage also states, donating blood does make you weak, but only in large amounts. Donating blood should adversely affect a healthy adult because your, your body has plenty of blood. You'll donate less than one pint in your body, which constantly makes new blood, will replace a donating volume within 24 hours. Most people continue their, their usual activities for donating. According to Too Old to Donate by Ronnie Raven, an article by New York Times states that we found over time that individuals who are older do just fine donating blood, as long as they don't have certain medical conditions that make up them in and the final reason is people are afraid of obtaining a disease like AIDS or HIV, for instance. It is not possible to get AIDS by donating blood or HIV, according to the American Red Cross. A new sterile needle is needed for each donor and discard afterwards. Now that I have told you some of the reasons people do not give blood, let me tell you some of the causes of blanched transfusions in the first place. There are many important reasons why blood wants to be donated for blood transfusions. According to the book, Complications of Blood Transfusions, by Harvey Klein states most blood transfusions are to treat anemia, which means the body doesn't have enough red blood cells. The body's tissues and cells are not getting enough, enough oxygen, which could lead to heart failure because of the heart working extra hard to make up for the lack of red blood cells. According to the website NHS Choices, platelet transfusions are used to help people who have low levels of platelet cells. Platelets prevent bleeding by clotting. Without platelets, a person can be at risk to excessive bleeding, even by a minor cut which is also caused by cancer too. Another reason is if a person is need, need for white blood cells. White blood cells fight off diseases. Without this important cells of the immune system, the person can be very vulnerable to disease. This is usually caused by cancer also. NHS choices also say that blood is, that blood is needed for surgical operations. Surgeons try to minimize the amount of blood loss while operating, but some operations and procedures have a high amount of blood loss from the patient, so blood transfusion now that you know the causes of blood transfusions, I'll talk about the reason to donate blood to the people needing it. According to Jenny, Ging Jenny Ginger, a nurse at Mercy Hospital who has experience with patients on wanting to donate blood, says that there's a lot of reasons why people should give blood. Mrs. Ginger says that the obvious reason is to help people. There is always people who are in need of blood. She also says that donating blood comes from a, comes with a free mini physical. The physical checks your pulse, but body temperature, hemoglobin, and blood pressure. The donation process is easy and does not take that much time. It starts with registration, a mini physical, the actual donating time, which takes eight to 10 minutes, and then the best part, free snacks and refreshments. The entire process takes at most one hour to complete. Jenny Gainer comes across people not liking needles. She says that people end up saying that there is hardly any pain, it's just a prick in the first place. She also says we allow people to be distracted, meaning watch TV or be on their phone so they don't know what is happening. And finally, the sense of pride of helping people. Having the satisfaction of you donating your blood to people in need is a great feeling, says Jenny Ganger. Now that I told you some of the reasons to donate blood, you might be wondering where 
people can do this. With the, informa with the information I present to you today, I hope I have made you at least consider donating blood. You can donate blood at any hospital, clinic, or any medical center. Sometimes here at Linmar High School and most other high schools, we'll have a blood drive for people to donate blood. I talked about the problem of people not donating blood, donating blood, causes for blood transfusion, and the reasons to give blood. People should donate blood to those in need because it is a simple, harmless, and benefiting process. I hope the information I present you today will encourage you to donate blood and make those lives of people suffering better.